cold and rainy day here on the farm, which means we're going to move our bees today. Uh, I'm going to come back at the end of the video here and explain why we're moving them. But because they're not out flying around, it's a good day to close off the fronts of the hives, uh, strap them up, take the tractor and relocate our hives from out in the garden over to another spot on the farm where they're all together, which we've started moving them to. So I'm going to show you the process of strapping them up and moving the hives, and then I'll come back to explaining why we're moving them. We've already moved one of them. We got two more to move, but as you can see, we've got three deep bodies on this hive and two medium honey supers. So they're really heavy. And uh, so what we're going to do to move these is we've put two tie down straps uh, on the outer edges, uh, on the outside edges, going all the way around underneath, catching the bottom board, the landing board and the bottom board going up and holding these. Then what we've done is run a tie down strap, I mean a toe strap, uh, across through the middle of this uh, and around the bucket of the tractor with this shackle, but then took another tie down strap around here to hold this in place, just mostly so it doesn't pop out and kind of hold it center, because once the weight comes up, the, the strap will also pinch in on the middle, but this holds it in place. Well, that was moving the bees. Uh, now to why we had to move them. Those of you who followed the channel know that about this time a year ago, almost to the day, I got stung in the forehead by a honeybee and had a pretty bad reaction. At the time, I, well, I didn't know exactly what anaphylactic shock was. And in my mind, uh, as probably a lot of people's, anaphylactic shock is when you get swelling in the throat and mouth and you're unable to breathe. Well, I didn't have that last year. Uh, and so I foolishly didn't think that I, I had actually suffered anaphylactic shock. So this past Tuesday, uh, and I should say since a year ago, I have been stung many more times in the arm, legs. Uh, I mean, I'd say a handful of times I've been stung. Didn't have any severe reaction with the caveat that I got stung through clothes and maybe the stinger didn't go all the way in me, didn't get a full dose of bee venom. But this past Tuesday, uh, I was out in the garden again, just like a year ago, was not working the bees, although I had been uh, the previous day. So it's possible that my scent was still recognizable, I guess, by guard bees or some of the bees who were upset uh, about me being in the hives. But I was a decent distance away from the hives and the bees and a bee just flew into the back of my head in my hair. I sort of braced myself, hoping that it wasn't going to sting me, and sure enough, it did. So for about 30 seconds, I stood there and felt okay, and I thought, all right, good, I'm not going to have another reaction like I had a year ago. It's going to be like the ones that I've had uh, since then. Nothing's going to happen. And then all of a sudden, I started to feel this kind of um, 
how to describe it except a sensation moving across from the back of my head across to the front of my head came down into my sinuses almost like instantly um, having a runny nose out of nowhere uh, congestion and runny nose which I've since learned is one of the telltale signs of getting ready to go into anaphylactic shock um, I knew that was a bad feeling what was coming on so I got on the four-wheeler and quickly came into the house but in that short period of time uh, just a minute or two by the time I got into the house it was um, well, it was kind of coming on like a freight train, uh, just really starting to feel very weak um, and got back to the bedroom, the bathroom, and I apologize for being so graphic, but became pretty violently sick um, and just really felt bad, sweating profusely, uh, just like that. And within a minute or two, that part of it, the worst part of it was over. Uh, and then kind of started having uncontrollable shakes come on. All right, let me, I guess back up. So anaphylactic shock is not simply an upper respiratory issue. Uh, it is anytime you have a severe allergic reaction that involves two major organs, two or more major organs of the body, which can be the skin, which would be severe hives, uh, a reaction or outbreak of hives in the body, the upper respiratory system, which would include the mouth, lips, uh, and throat, uh, and bronchial system, the cardiovascular system, which, um, <clears throat> and well, and the gastrointestinal system. It's the last two that I have reactions to. So to explain this very quickly, in my case, or people who have other people like me who have allergies, I guess, of this kind, but in my case, when a bee stings me and that venom gets in to my system, my body reacts to it by overproducing histamines to fight against that allergen. And uh, so overproduces that when it gets into my blood system, that's the cardiovascular, that organ's response is a um, dilation of all the blood vessels in my body very, very quickly, and which causes, a sen well, effectively causes very low blood pressure very, very quickly. And that's the sensation of feeling like I'm gonna pass out and feeling very, very weak uh, is because now, I mean, if you can just imagine it, the, the entire vascular system has just maybe I don't know, doubled in size, and so there isn't enough blood to maintain the same pressure that was there. So you get a very low, uh, what I guess they would call a collapse uh, of the cardiovascular system. And then the gastrointestinal system, uh, all those histamines get into the stomach, and in my case, make me just violently ill uh, very, very quickly. Uh, so I uh, went to the doctor and uh, as you can probably imagine, I now get to carry these with me, two EpiPens, uh, epinephrine. So, uh, and the way these work is, is that it's a shot of basically adrenaline uh, that will go into my system and counteract uh, the effect of the histamines almost instantaneously. And then the reason you take Benadryl is because Benadryl is an antihistamine and helps to reduce that. Um, so that's why we moved the bees, uh, is that we moved them out of the garden area, again, over to the fence line to get them to an area where really I don't go, have to go very often or do much work. Um, and, you know, just got them away from, uh, from where I will be. And then the next thing that I'm gonna be doing is looking into getting venom immunotherapy uh, treatment, uh, which VIT, which is a process of over the course of three to five years, getting small injections at first, getting them, I think, bi-weekly, uh, small injections of, or injections of small amounts of bee venom, and then building up over time to the point where I can get two full uh, injections or what would be the equivalent of two full bee stings with all of the venom that they could deliver and not have any kind of a response. Now, from what I understand, it's a 97 to 99% um, effective rate 
in uh, for people so much so that when people get stung they don't even get red welts uh, there's not even a, a histamine response in the skin so um, I mean I know that probably some people would think well get rid of the bees but the reality is we live on a farm our neighbors have bees other people around us have bees um, there's yellow jackets in the woods and other places that I go I mean just within the last year I was out hiking and got stung in the leg by a hornet uh, did not have a reaction to that weirdly uh, although those are slightly different venoms but the, the fact is um, there's a real chance I'm gonna get stung whether we have bees or not and love keeping bees so I'll just be a lot safer uh, always wear protective gear when I'm anywhere near the hives uh, going forward uh, obviously always have these EpiPens on me to uh, guard against uh, or be prepared in case I do get stung and then look into this treatment so the long term I can continue being outside and not have to worry about getting stung or going into anaphylactic shock so that's what's been going on uh, there was Holy Week and Easter which was obviously uh, a number of days there where we were not doing much uh, here on the farm and then this happened and the recovery, which honestly is sort of like having the flu for about eight hours, uh, the, just the recovery phase. And we were out of town for two days doing some college visits for our daughter and uh, came back and uh, anyways, been doing some things. So I've got two videos, another one we're gonna upload updating about the sunflower seeds and actually the videos we had shot about working the bees and uh and then dealing with uh with this so anyways that's that's what's been up the last two weeks here uh, on the on the farm been kind of busy but wanted to just say this and to anybody who is working with bees or if you've got uh well i'll leave aside food allergies and other things but if you're working with bees or you're getting into having honeybees and you get stung just know that anaphylactic shock is not only uh, does not only affect the upper respiratory system it can affect these other systems in the body and it doesn't mean that the next time it's always going to be the same so really um, thanks be to God I was pretty foolish um, that I didn't go to the doctor after the first time and get this dealt with and get an EpiPen my reaction on Tuesday probably would have been a lot less severe if I'd have had the EpiPens and given myself an injection within that, you know, when I first started feeling that sensation coming across, uh, of course, now I know I'm allergic, so I would do it anyways. Uh, but if you get into having bees, you're around bees, and you have a response where you feel like you might pass out or you get sick or you have hives, uh, know that that is uh, probably anaphylactic shock and that the next time you get stung, it might be the respiratory. Uh, system that uh, is affected so anyways just wanted to pass this along hope everyone is well hope everyone had a blessed Easter we we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video take care and God bless